control an exam race in this uh, we will learn a small topic legendary polynomials and this is this important topic which come in the exam so what actually legendary polynomial or what we can say legendary equation first is the legendary is legendary is equation or differential equation which is of second order that is that is 1 minus x square d2y upon dx square minus 2x dy by dx plus n into n plus 1 into y and which is equals to 0 Another thing is what is Legendre polynomial? What is Legendre polynomial? The question comes on Legendre polynomial mainly. So you must remember this: p n of x and which is equals to one upon two to the power n. Into n factorial into d n upon d x n x square minus one to the power n. This is the most important polynomial equation because every year question come in each exam either it is net, gate, jest, differ, whatever. So what was our uh, Legendre polynomial? That was p n of x, which is equals to one upon two to the power n into n factorial d n upon d x n x square minus one to the n. Now. If I put to n is one, if I put n is one, you will find that you will find that the value is value is just put n equals to one to one factorial d x d upon d x x square minus one, and which is equals to x. Similarly, if I put zero. Then the term will become one. If I put two, the term will become one by two, three x square minus one. And similarly, if I put a, n is four, if I put n is not four, just put three. N is three. Then it will become one by two, five. X square minus 3x. Okay, 5x square minus 3x. What about p4? If I put the value p4, it will be 1 by 8. 35x to the power 4 minus 30x square plus 3. at least these four value we have to remember these four five values especially this one because others are easy to remember but p3 and p4 especially p4 p4 is difficult to remember so just remember these three and other two is so easy that one is x and other is one Then you will able to apply in the questions. Now we will see one question that is the latest net exam question that is the Legendre polynomial p n when n is increasing from zero to infinity satisfying the orthogonality condition. The orthogonality condition is this one. Okay, I'll tell you what is orthogonality condition and 
these are Roderick's formulas also given. So what you will have to do, what you have to do is, uh, you have to find the value of this integral. This integral you have to find the value. 4 plus 2x minus 3x square plus 4x cube. You have two options. Either you find the p3 and then just put the value and multiply and solve by integration. That is the easiest one. What? But lengthy. So we will not prefer that. Let's put the p3 value. I already told you what is the p3 value. Let's put the value in the integral and solve it. What we will do? We will try to solve by using Roderick's formula. That is, we will convert 4 plus 2x minus 3x square plus 4x cube into polynomials so you can see the power is maximum is 3 so what we will do we will use up to 3 means a times p naught x plus b p1 x plus c p2x plus d p3x and just try to solve the values of a b c and d okay and let's put the p naught x what is p naught x we know one what is p1 that is also easy x what what is the value of p2 p2 is 1 by 2 3x square minus 1 okay now what about p3 1 by 2 5x cube minus 3x so this is what the values are now just compare them 4 plus 2x plus or plus minus minus 3x square plus 4x cube which is equals to 8 plus b it's not b1 bx plus 3 by 2 x square c minus 1 by 2 c plus 5 by 2 x cube d minus 3 by 2 x d so it's simply if we compare it so what is a a is nothing but it's constant that is 4 what is b means coefficient of x so you can easily see that coefficient of x is 2 here b and minus 3 by 2 d so b minus 3 by 2 d is equals to 2 actually the constant is i think a minus c by 2 which is equals to 4 a minus c by 2 which is equals to 4 okay and b minus 3 by 2 d is equals to 2 what about x square the coefficient of x square is is i think this is over this is also over this is good so coefficient of uh, x square is 3 c by 2 3 c by 2 which is equals to minus 3 so you can easily find c is minus 2 and what about the coefficient of x cube 5 by 2 d 5 by 2 d is equals to 4 okay so what will be the value for d on comparing it will be 5 by 2 d which is equals to 4 so if you find d it is 8 by 5 now what was if you solve 
for a and b then what was what will be the a then a will be 3 and b will be 22.5 and what was c c we know c was minus 2 c was minus 2 so let's put the values that was 4 plus 2x minus 3x square plus 4x cube 4x cube which is which was equals to a times of a times of p0 plus b times of p3 oh sorry p1 plus c times that is minus 2 minus 2 times of p2x plus d times of p3x so we can easily solve it the question was minus 1 to 1 the 4 plus 2x minus 3 instead of this i'll put the value that i calculated that is p0x plus 225 p1x minus 2 p2x plus 8 by 5 p3x and which is going to multiply it with the p3x and if you solve it by using the orthogonality concept that is pn of x pm of x has two solutions either 0 or 2 upon 2n plus 1 which is given in the question so when it is uh, when it is 0 when n is not equal to n and when it is this value you will get when n is equals to n so if you multiply it you will see p0 p1 so n is not equals to n p1 p3 not equals to n is not equals to n 0 p2 p3 n is not equals to m again 0 we remain with p3 p3 so what will be uh, the remaining solution that is integral of minus 1 to 1 8 by 5 p3 p3 so integral of minus 1 to 1 8 by 5 p3x p3x and which is equals to 8 by 5 into 2 upon 2 into n is 3 here plus 1 so it will be 8 by 5 into 2 upon 6 plus 1 7 so it will be 16 upon 35 so answer with the 16 upon 35 is correct. This is the CSI equation. Okay, 20. 22 means latest one. Thank you for more updates and for complete course, please subscribe and visit on to www.doorstepdutor.com. Thank you.